Hello resin lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on a Jamaican inspired resin set which includes a tray and four coasters. Now I know you only see three moles down there but the order that I got was for four so I have to wait until this set cures before I can do the extra one. I'm going to be trying to walk you through what I do as my process. Hopefully it helps you as I am learning myself how to still um, work with resin. So here you can see that I went ahead and pre-mixed my resin. I poured portions out in smaller uh, silicone cups. I just added some yellow acrylic paint from Artist Loft. And I also just added um, mica powder from the Lunar Dust collection. Now I never know how much mica powder to use. I literally just put as much as I think I need in there. And then mix it until I get it as opaque as I like just by looking at the popsicle stick. Uh, here I am adding green as well from Artist Loft and also black from Artist Loft. I mix those well enough so that the colors blend with the resin. And now it's time for the pour. So I already know what the flag looks like. I am Jamaican so if I don't I should be embarrassed. But I'm not because I think I got this on lock. So I pour my black out first with the design of the flag and I use a popsicle stick just to get some movement going there with the black Then I add my green and it's pretty straightforward. I just pour the colors out to the shape that I want it to be looking like the flag. Now with resin, you're never going to get the exact shape because it is liquid. It's going to flow. It's going to change. It's going to do what it wants to do. So I just go with the concept and idea of what I have in mind and hopefully the end product looks like or close to what I want it to look like. So as you can see the green was kind of coming into the black a little bit so I added more black resin just to push it back out and have mainly black in those areas of the flag. Resin's a bit harder to manipulate in its liquid form you just got to do the best you can. And I don't waste the liquor resin. Get that all in there. And here I'm using my torch to pop all the bubbles that rose to the top of the resin so far. So 24 hours had passed and I was able to take the coasters out of the mold and realized that I made a mistake by laying down the broken glass first and laid the resin down after which caused a lot of holes to be in those sets so I had to start from scratch. Here I am pouring resin into a silicone cup that I have with gold foil and that I purchased from Michaels and I'm mixing that in the best that I can to make sure it breaks up to smaller pieces and I do the same thing with the green foil that I purchased from Amazon and I just mix that all up as again until it breaks up into smaller pieces. I'm using my torch to get all the bubbles out and here I am correcting my uh, previous mistake where I now laid the resin down and I'm now putting the broken glass in. Torch again for all the bubbles that rose. And let's just add a little bit more resin just so we can stretch it out a little bit more. So here I am portioning out the resin into smaller silicone cups for when I mix my colors um, for the coasters making sure that I have equal amounts in there. I'm now putting down a layer of resin, just a thin layer um, for when I put down the green and gold foil to create the glitter effect on the tray. Again, I'm mixing my yellow acrylic, green acrylic, and black acrylic, all from Artist Loft. And we go ahead and we mix, mix, mix. We don't mix too fast because I don't want to create too much bubbles while I'm doing it. I've sped up the video so it just looks like I'm going fast. But I do take my time when mixing these colors. Come back in there with a the torch again just to get out any bubbles that rose to the top. And then there I go, starting with my design again. 
I never really have anything in mind. I always just, I just go with the flow. I put down the colors and then I just try to have fun with it. And then I grab my silicone stick just to make little squiggly lines, I guess, just to create some kind of effect going on in there. Don't try to do too much. Then I'm going in with my green foil first. I just love how this color just pops. And then I go in with my gold foil. And again, it just gives it such a beautiful effect like I just I love it hard to put into words how much this thing looks in real life and again I go in in the coasters with the remainder of the resin that I had there with the gold foil in it and just try to put a little style in it again I never really had an idea of how these are gonna turn out I just I try to have fun with it and I had extra so I said why not And I go back in again and try to just create a little squiggly design, I guess. <laughs> Trying to do something. And then I come back in with my torch again, getting all the bubbles that popped up. So here I am putting the handles directly into the resin that I just poured. It might look a little off because of the angle of my camera, but believe me, it's pretty straight from where I'm sitting. I also made these handles myself using my handle mold that I got from Amazon. I think it came in pretty handy. You don't have to be buying handles all the time and it can make them any color I want. I'm also placing the rest of the green foil that I had left back in the cup. Just trying not to waste anything, so just last minute decided to pour the rest of it on top of the handles just to give it a bit of shimmer. And I think it worked, because I love how this came out. So here I am with my little handheld Dremel tool. I'm um, just trying to clean up the edges because the resin can get quite sharp once it's fully cured. You know, I'm just trying to give it a flat surface, smooth, no sharp edges. Don't want anyone to get hurt. And here is the finished product, guys. Tell me what you think. I think this came out so pretty. I love each and every one of these pieces. I think they're so beautiful. I think these colors complement each other so well. Look at that shine. Look at that luster. Oh my god. And big up to all my Jamaican massive because my thing said I want a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you so much for watching.